getting ready to make a uh, Ed Spicy Crack Ham Chicken, or you could call it Ed Spicy Crack Chicken Burger. Uh, the way this ended up happening was I set out some ground beef to make chili with, but I'd been talking about cracked chicken all week, so I'm going to make them both. Going to need cheddar cheese, bacon bits, or bacon, parsley, a packet of ranch seasoning, Italian seasoning, some hamburger, some chicken, some Parmesan cheese, some chicken stock, some cream cheese, some green onions. This is my homemade chili powder. I'll, uh, I've, I can't remember if I've done a video on this or not. I know I've posted the recipe numerous times on Facebook. And then some uh, flour tortillas or hamburger buns or something like that. Because cracked chicken is generally something you make a, like a sandwich out of. So the difference is... I'm going to be adding hamburger and chicken, and it's going to be pretty spicy because my DIY chili powder that I use in all kinds of spicy foods is pretty spicy. So, first step is to fry the hamburger and add the spices. While I'm frying the hamburger up, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the Instant Pot. For the Instant Pot, you're going to need about a half cup of chicken broth and one thing I forgot to mention most of the time these recipes calls for three pounds of chicken so what I've got I've got two pounds of hamburger and about a pound and a half of chicken you're also going to add to the instant pot uh, normally it's around five ounces I'm doing eight because it's just easier for me to work with packages so I don't want to split this and five ounces and then have some left over that's just going to go in the refrigerator and never be used. So I'm going to use a whole package of this. I'm going to cut this into squares. You're going to need um, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and one packet of ranch seasoning. Normally they say an ounce. I like a, Again, I just do it by packet. This is, Actually, that is one ounce. So one packet, one ounce. All goes in the instant pot, along with the chicken. Doesn't matter if the chicken's unthawed or frozen. Anybody that knows me knows that I don't really measure seasonings. I, I might tell you a teaspoon or a tablespoon, and I don't know what that is, maybe. Might have been two tablespoons. I don't want to overdo it because I like spicy food, but I don't want it to overpower the ranch. Alright, so there's the hamburger, there's the chicken, the cream cheese, the chicken broth, the Italian seasoning. And there, I'm going to add the hamburger to it, and then I'm going to put the lid on and set it for pressure cook for 15 minutes. So that you can see, I've now got the hamburger and the chicken, the cream cheese, and everything in the Instant Pot. I don't worry about stirring it up. I'm just going to add the lid, set it to pressure cook on high for 15 minutes. So I've got the lid on. I'm going to go down to pressure cook. Increase the time, 15 minutes. Start. When that's done... I'm going to let it do the automatic pressure release. So I want to wait 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so after it's done. Might even be 30 minutes. Who knows? I just I just do the automatic pressure release because I feel that the meat doesn't get tough that way. So I'll bring you back to the next step. Next thing we're going to do is wash off the green onions and then slice them on a cutting board. 
I've got about seven there. And uh, all parts of a green onion are edible, so I just cut it all up. Something like that. You also want about a half cup of Parmesan cheese. About, I think I package says two and a half ounces of bacon bits and two cups of cheddar cheese. And then we're going to use about a tablespoon of parsley. Okay, once this is done cook, cooking for the first 15 minutes and you go through your pressure release, go ahead and release the rest of the pressure that's in the top. I'm probably not going to be able to show you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off of this and then I'm going to use a fork to um, shred the chicken pieces that are in there. So let me get that done. I'll bring you back. The chicken's so tender you can just use a, a wooden utensil to break it up with. So you just want to get most of the big chunks out is all you're really after. It's breaking up pretty good. And I can always do it also when I'm done cooking. So next thing you're going to do, you're going to add your Parmesan cheese, bacon bits, the green onions, the parsley, and the cheddar cheese. Let me go ahead and dump those in there. I'll bring you right back because I can only, you know, use on a cell phone. I have, need both hands. And with everything in there, you're going to give this a stir. Just enough to get all the cheeses mixed up, covered up. Something like that. Now let me get some uh, flour tortillas and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. I usually take and fold the bottoms over. And uh, then just roll them up. There's another one I got there.